Today is the reason to rejoice for all of us. For graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's a, a special uh, felicitation a ceremony by Mr. Syed Obedullah, Founder Secretary, St. Javeria English High School. He wishes uh, to felicitate our Honorable uh, Chairman, Brindavan Guru Institution. cherishable and a delightful moment. Today is the reason to rejoice for all of us, for graduation ought not to be an end. In fact, it marks the end of a voice of curiosity to begin yet another. For underneath the mask of a degree lies an opportunity to serve with skill and knowledge through hard work, dedication and will. Love is the joy of the good, the wonder of the wise, and the amazement of the gods. The love of truth, hard work, and diligence had its rewards in heaven and on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, you will now witness one of the most memorable moments in every student's life, the receiving of the graduation certificate. I now request the students of civil engineering and computer science and electronics to receive their certificates as their names are called out. To present the certificates, I call upon Dr. K.K. Sitama, Registrar, Bangalore University. Starting with the students from BE Civil Stream, the names are called out as Prajwal L.J. Lachu Jadav. Prashant B. Anuj Kumar. Okay, sir. Rajendra Kumar. Sunil Kumar S. Akhil Sarlai Joseph. Amul Shrestha. Anil Kumar D. Anuroda S. Rathod, Athira C. Basava Kumar M. Bharat P. M. Bhargavi B. C. 
Ines Rawat, Hemant Gautam R, Jagannath, Jevita R, Kartik Bhusan Reddy N, Kartik M Patil, Krishan H N, Kisor Bhatta, Kausal Adhikari, Lochana Powdell, Mega C V. Mohammad Umer Farooq, Muni Krishna A, Nagaraj A, N, Nakshan, Nishan S N, Nitesh Nepal, Purnima N, Pravin Ghimire, Pradipa G C, Pramod M, Prasanna Sapkota, Pratiba K M. Pravin Kumar SR, Pravin Yadav, R Harishita, Rakesh Kumar Sa, Ramji Raya, Rinzin Lore, Rohit Sankar Loli, Rupali B Tundan Kupa, Samir Rajaratan Kulkarni, Sang Wang Chu, Sasi Kant B N. Subha T M, Sojanya R, Suresh G P, Surya Pratap Singh, Susil Khadka, Susma Shrestha, Tajas Tajaswini H V, Bisali Sharma, Vinay N, Vinod Kala Sanwar, Johep Najir Saha, Techi Yai. Anand Kethi, Arun Kumara, Asok Yam, Bhagyashree K S, Bharat Kumar, Bhavya T S, Kiran V, Mamata K K, Mohan Kumar M Yam, Navinita B N. Pravin Sagar, Rajendra CK, Ramalinga Yadav BR, Viris Yam, Yogesh HS, Dinesh Chaudhary, Shruti B Nine, Now moving with a student from B, C, S, and E stream. The names are as follows: Saurabh Kumar, Now, moving with the student from B, C, S, and E stream, the names are as follows: Saurav Kumar, Basanta I C, Lokesh G V, Suhas R, B G Shruti, Chaitra G V, Deepa, Elvin Joan, Junior Jebras G. Kanchan Kumari, M Shravani, Manish Kumar Giri, Nishchita S, Noella Michael Barreto, Frank Boklang Langton T, 
Rajna L, Rachit N, Rumana Banu, Rumana Sarif, SR Vijeta Bisali, S Sanjana, SV Dipti, Salini S, Sayal PM, Gaitri Devi Ramachandra, Suravi Gupta, S Susma, Sayat Musin Abasi, Urbasi Hatangadi, Barsa V, Vinayaka Rao, Bikas Kumar, Bikas Kumar Jha, Oza, Biswant DN, Biswari VK, Abhishek Dalal, Anamika Datta, Arnapurna K, Dharmendra Singh, Milkal Laidya J, Navyashri KR, Nirmal Kumar Sarma, Rahul R, S Chitra, Tanuj Kumar Singh, Tapu Chandra Roy. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, sir, for doing the honors. I'll call Benson to continue. Good evening. I now invite our chief guest, Dr. U.T. Abdul Khader, Honorable Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Government of Karnataka, to do the honors. Raghavendra G, let us start off with E C N E, E C E. Raghavendra G, please walk fast. Navne Navneet Raman, Ruzu, Anusha, M B, Chetan Nayak, Sidul Isam, Vinay Vinaya Kumar H M, Abhishek Anand Shoni. Anjali Ja, Anju K. Peter, Ankit Anand, Apurva B, Arpita Mahato, 
आशीष झा बी एम शालिनी बिंदुश्री एस श्राव्या राव चेतन सी मेलकुंडी दक्षियानी एम एल दीप्ति एन देवेंद्र सिंह दिव्या झा फर्नांडिस नाइजल सैरियो गणेश शंकर विद्यार्थी गौरव भाटी गोपाल बाबू निषाद गौतम गोविंद एम एन जगदीश तुरामारी जीवन बी कीर्ति श्री किरण कुमार डी कृतिका मनमीत कौर मंसूर अली मेघश्री एम एस मिग्मा डॉगी मोहम्मद तौफी खान मोहम्मद किजर मोनिका चौहान एन शोभना नागराजा बी एन नवीन के नेहा एम वी निमिषा जे नित्या कुमार रे पंकज योगी हेमा ठेनली पूजा अब्रॉल पूजा पाटिल प्रनेशा पॉल प्रशांत आर प्रतिभा भी प्रियंका पी प्रियंका एस आर अनुरागा राहुल श्रीवात्सा राजेश राजन रमीज खान रश्मि डी मीरज रवि श्रेष्ठ रविशंकर एन जी एस सूर्या संघम सिंघम एस विनोली संजीत कुमार सौरभ पांडे शशांक पोखरे शिखा पटेल शिल्पा एम श्री श्रीराम ईश्वर लोनी श्वेता जी सज्जन श्रीकांत एन श्रीनिवासन के शुभम कुमार शाखानु सुकन्या पांडे सुखविंदर कौर सुमन भाई सुनील एन गौड़ा सुशांत डी एल गौड़ा सायद शमशाउद्दीन विमल आदित्य जे वीरेश यशस्विनी आर अरविंद पी चेतन कुमार एच एन किरण ए टी मोहन राज मुत्तु कुमार नीरज कुमार प्रशांत कुमार एन आर रन के सावित्री शिव कुमार जे एन श्रीधर 
सुनील ठाकुर बाबू बी एस दीक्षित लव कुश महेश मंजुनाथा प्रशांता के के रामदेव दास रवीश साना हाक संदीप संकेत यमन अप्पा शक्ति सिंह शशिधर कोडागांटी शशिधरा एस श्रीनिवास ई के स्वरूप टीजी हरीश हरीश थैंक यू थैंक यू सर यू मे प्लीज बी सीटेड ना थैंक यू सर थैंक यू बेंसन आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बीई आई एस सी BE Mechanical and MBA Bangalore University streams to receive their certificates to do the honors i call upon dr k k sitama nimat ikbal lakshmi narayan giriram shri girish ravi mohan yadav Shekhar Suman Abhilash Isaac Abhishek Yu Aishwarya KL Ajay Jha Alfonso Raju Anjali Gopinath Beauty Kumari Selin M Darshan S Deepa Kumari Divya Das Indumati S Bhargav Tantri Kavya T Kirthana AS Kirthi R Lakshmi Selvaraj Lohani Pawan Madhu Kiran Nasrulla Khan Nikita V Nivya PS Bhuvaneshwari Pooja S Pravad Acharya Prathvi CR Radhika G Rakshita N Ranjana C Rubishna Amatya Romana Anjum Samyatha Saurav Singh Sudeep Kumar Swati Mohan Now moving on to BE Mechanical. Avishek S V, Avishek Shivastava, Amo H, Bilur Siddeshwar, Goms Yuvan Jos. Gaurav Sharma, Harishit Kumar, Ishwar Teli, Bharat Kumar, Kiran Biyar, Kisor PG,
मधुसूदना सी एल मारुति प्रशांत एम जी आसन मिलन बुढ़ा मुहिदीन एन मुजामिल ए नागेंद्र नवीन एम नॉर्मन जुलियो पवा कुमार एच रघावेंद्र एजी राजकुमार टी रंजीत डी रविराज के एल पृथ्वी नायक स्टेफन मोन्टेरियो वीरेशा विजेश्वर भरत कुमार धर्मानंद राठौर हरीश डी महेंद्र डी सी मल्लिकार्जुना स्वामी मंजुनाथा नगेश नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू एम बी ए बैंगलोर यूनिवर्सिटी अभिषेक कुमार अंबिका एच अमित थापा मगर अरुणा वेंकट राव अरुण कुमार एस जी अस्कर खान आशुतोष कुमार मिश्र भोजराज भट्ट अशोक बाबू देवराजा दिलीपा जी एल स्टेफनी जॉयस जी एल सुषमा गंगाधर टी गौरव बब्बर हर्ष जेव्य हिलाल बीपी कपूति मामुंडा तौसिफ खान कुमार गौरव लिविंगस्टन ए मधुमिता कुमारी ममता सी एम मंजुनाथ सी सोएब अब्दुल मोहम्मद एमिन मोहम्मद निफिल मुकेश चौधरी नवीन राज पैसे डिसूजा प्रशांत त्यागी रघु एन राजेश कुमार जोशी रोना अल्लाह श्यान रविचंद्र एस रितेश एच एस रिकू थॉमस समीता श्रेष्ठ संदीप कुमार सतीश कुमार शिबिन के पी शिव कुमार 
Sobha N. Srisak Pratap Singh. Maruti M. N. Soma Shekhar A. Srinak T. S. Shubhash. Sudha Rani Lakshman. Sunis Matthew. Susma M. K. Tanuja K. Utkarsh Lal. Vaibhav Shrestha. Vipin Johnson. Vaseem Abbas. Thank you, ma'am, for doing the honors. Now I'd like to call Bushrat to continue. I now request students of MBA VTU to receive their certificates. To do the honors, I call Dr. Majid A. A. Sabah. MBA VTU. Adi Narayan Nayak. Ananta Kumar, Anji Nappa, Esmita Kumari, Bharani MS, Deepa Kondagol, Divya Shri, Shakir Pasha, Nishchint Paul, Pathan Imran, Purnima M, Preeta H R, Rahanas K A, Rahul K, Raju Nayak, Renuka K B, Rudresh V R. Safina Mubarak, Shabnam MK, Sneha B, Shushma DN. I would now request the MCA BU students to receive their certificates. Abdul Wahab. Abhilash KV, Anand Bharati, Ankit Sahai, Annapurneshwari, Ashish Kumar, Guru Raj Gampa, Jatin Kumar, Loganath S, Manjula HL, Mansoor Ilahi, Marur Divya, Gulnamaz Akhtar, Muhammad Samir, Muhammad Suhail, Nabil, Nagendra Kumar, Narmada R, Pallavi H, Kulkarni Amod, Pavitra K S, Pradeep D, Rahul Kumar Singh. Rakesh Kumar, Ramis Rafi, Ronnie Matthew, Sanya, Sunil Kumar, Shweta Naidu, Saida Sadat, Trilok Chand, Uma HR. Ramis Raif, Ronnie Matthew, Sanya.
तान्या दयाल सुनील कुमार वर्मा श्वेता नायडू सायदा सादत I now request the students of MC, MSc students Priya MS Saida Shanawaz Ilai Kian Mischindi Yusuf Thank you sir I now request Mr. Avinash to please continue. Thank you, Bushra. I now request the students of BBM, BCA, BCom, and BSc to receive their certificates. To do the honors, I call upon Honorable Minister Mr. U T Abdul Khader. student from bbm stream the name are as follows amit kumar basant kumar sa bhim shrestha bishnu prasad barua dipak kumar divish bhandari Hassan Ahmed Jaspi Junaid Malik Karma Jangbo Serpa Kunal Nagori Madhav Prashad Adhikari Manisha Singh Muhammad Salman MK Muhammad Asif K Muhammad Gufran Monica Chaudhary Muhammad TV Nikhil TP Rebek Sakya Sasank Bhardwaj Shraddha Pradhan Sivaji Khatka Sujit Kumar Paswan Sunit Luke K.R.I. Suraj Kumar Binay Prabhin Yashodhara Rai Asif Abdullah Kuti Azajul Mia Bhat Khan Lakadulam Binayak Mishra Mohora Yugs Sindhu K. Raju Soni Prajapati Adiya Surin Kajol Khatka Kangizu Lunda Sangu Disabil Kunal Mandal Neeraj Lekhak Pega Barani Randika Nagaratnam Sayan Ghotsi Sayad Junaid Yogesh Prashat Mandal Atul Chowan Bibek Shrestha Engabar Diyane Gihani Gunavardena Kamikaji Joy Mugisa Axel Munyan Songor Reconfort 
Prithibi DC, Rishi Sapkota, Sasi Kanchana, Umwali Babai, Bikki Roy, Tagaluk Nasir Said Albarwani, Ajay Joseph, Pamans Sabaj. Now moving with the student from BCA. The names are Abilas S. Bappi Patro. Joy Yadav. Kumar Neeraj. Kus Kumar Prashad. Law Kumar Prashad Manish Mohammad Suhel Pankil Jaiswal Praval Sarma Syed Mudasir Tatha Katha Chakravarti Gautam S Samin Kayasta Sri Lata K. Sri Lata K. Iswame Solomon. Kamiyar. Abdul Ajiz Abdullah Mohammed Manabi. Hissam Hasil Mohammed Al Busadi, Hissam Mohammed Mutsafa El Sayed, Sabir Ali, Umutoni Idiga, Umahora Janet, Bajaju Mohammed Abdullah M, Kwasi Mansur Saif, Alidini Mohammed Islam. Now, I would like to call student from BCOM stream. Abhinand A. Abu Bakr Siddiq. Farooq Pasa. Git Priya. Mansi Bhardawaj. Meghna S. Mohammad Hasib MK. Mohammad Pata, Mohammad Mozam, Musit Khan, Rifas Hamja, Sami Midha, Suwel Hussain, Syed Mohammad Ali Nisar Jafri, Tausif Ahmad K, Tyson Joseph, Dina Ramanath, Wasik Iqbal. Ajiz Ur Rehman, Janani K, Mohammad Tayab, Nausen Taj, Puja Guleria, Sabrin Kausar, Sasank B, Nandini M, Sheikh Abdul Riaz, Archana, Mohammad Abdel Ghaffar Mohammad Ali. Abdul Rahman Khan, Ayesa Siddiqui, Saddam Hussein, Albin, now the students from BSc 
BSc, SMCs. Manisha Subba, Kanguju Masandi Gauti, Diasaba Gilbert, Anasali Usman Jubed, Bahaidin Khaled Kamas Kamas, Sulab Chalise. Sayat Musadik Ahmad, Mesa Kyosi Serafin, Marin Basir, Afrin Sabah, Hansani Sulekana Pereira, Arvind Fernando, Malaki Sasikala, Ange Crystal, Rajan Kolan, Isan Hubib Zah, Isan Hubib Zah, Umotoni Lia, Faith Nadai Kunda. Faith Nadai Kunda, Harninda Jean Damason, Venura Chandimal, Vijay Kumar Sasi Tharan, Fernandez Conroy, Dipes Oli, Fatmat Yaman Hassan, Jara Hajid. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors. Thank you, sir. I would like to call Pratima to please continue. I would now request Mr. Muhammad Abdullah Al Hamad, representative from the Embassy of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Avinash. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite our chief guest, Mr. U.T. Abdul Khader, Honorable Minister for Health and Family Care, Government of Karnataka, to address the occasion. Chairman of today's function and Chairman of Brindavan College, Mr. Saba, guests on the dais, Mrs. Sitama, guests of the dais, all the students who are gathered here, and the fellow members of families of the students who are taking the convocations, the staff and faculty of this institution, and all the uh, well wishes of this institution. It is my pleasure to be in this function of the 25th year of Brindavan College. I am not taking this dais as a Minister of Health of Karnataka. I am here as a brother of Sabha who used to respect my dad who was along with him and it is my duty and responsibility to respect Sabha how we to respect my fathers. So I think on that basis I have taken this opportunity to be here. I congratulate and wish 
the management and staff and the chairman of this institution. The first 25 years you have come out in a very successful way and many much years further had to go. And I am sure that in the future days to come, the Brindavan College will be a deemed university, will have a medical college, will have an engineering college, and will have the pride of Karnataka, where a lot of students get their education. And through the education, they are not only the asset of their family, they will be asset of this society and this country. I congratulate all the students who have taken your convocation certificate today and I will successfully come out and I'm sure, sure that in the future days to come you'll be one of the best asset of this society where in the various countries you have come from the, all the places and all the people who come in contact with you or who will be a where you'll be in a helping hand to them they will not only remember you they will remember the college and the faculty who has thought to be a good human being in this society i congratulate all the parents who have taken all the trouble and struggle to see that their children will come up in one or the other way and they will get one of the best education and they have selected the brindavan college and any many much hurdles and struggles were there keeping it aside and giving one of the best uh, education in your life to come and it's the duty of the all the students who have come out here the primary duty those who have passed out in this institution today and taken the convocation for hours wiping the tears of your parents is the primary duty of each and every student who has joined here that will be the primary area where you will render your service to the the society i am sure that coming out of this institution today tomorrow you have you got a freedom to select your path in society and I'm very well and I'm, I've got confidence that all will be successful. Any hurdles comes in this in your future life, you will come out through because you've got such education, this academic intuition. And as, uh, as far as to say, uh, you have to be the one of the best as of the asset of the society, your parents and your country. And in life, problems arise us now and then. There is no person without problem and there is no place without problem. Everywhere problem is there. Today you might think UT Kad is very happy, is a minister, and I know my problem, because no one else will know. So each and everyone has got a problem. And the richest people has got more problem. You go to a poor people, they laugh and they talk very nicely. You go to an AC, you go to a rich people, sit in this AC office, his tension, you will be tensioned. He's listening, his tension, you will have my well, own tension. So that each and everyone will have a problem in his life. And that should be we should have that confidence. This education is given to face all these problems comes in our life to in a very uh, positive way and be a successful in your future. So in any one place if, if the, so the, where this problem is not there, it is only one place I always tell my friends. There is only one place where there is no problem. So I am sure that all will be thinking now, which is that one place where there is no problem. If UT Kadar says we will go immediately and sit there, we do not need any tension. Do not be in a hurry. Only in heaven you don't have problem. Elsewhere all your problem is there. So it is the uh, uh, our um, academic education and it's a religious education gives us how to face this problem in a positive way. And our peaceful life in our ultimate uh, aim is to have peaceful life. We don't know how many years God our Allah has given us to live. But the intention of life should be there. Let it be how many days also. But each and every day we will be uh, spending in a very peacefully very lovingly and uh, uh, sharing our uh, uh, happiness or sharing our uh, sadness with our neighbors and our friends. So all will be loved by each and every one. And I'm sure that all the students in your future life, you'll be the ambassador of Brindavan College when you go to this institution. Wherever you go, you'll be branded that you're the student of wherever. If you do good also, you'll be asked where you've taken the education. If you do something bad also, you will be asked, which is the call you have taken the education. So it is a primary responsibility to see that whatever you do, it will be one of the good things you do and it will benefit the institution faculty members where they have been education for such a long time. Um, once again, if I keep on talking, you can go for a long way. But today I am happy that all this, I congratulate Sabha and all the management and faculty members because you have seen that each and every student has got his convocation certificate on this function. For us, this may be common and we may be waiting for one hour, one and a half hour.
but the individual who is taking the certificate he is important and he is happy today that along with everyone he has got the certificate so that is the concern shown by the management and the staff towards the students that you should be a equally treated and you should be equally see that you should no one should be sad in their part so congratulating once again each and everyone then i don't usually don't go, do a long speech usually i say in my conference where i go if i go for a long speech usually what happens is one fellow has got a habit of asking uh, going for such a function and going for a very long speech then go and he'll sit and ask how was my speech today so coming for such a function giving a long speech one day he goes and sits uh, nearby is one student was there so he asked the students how was my speech today the student says i it's better i can sit at home and listen your speech it will be much better for me to see in the tv in my house so the person asked him why the speech what you are listening in front of me is not good for you and the speech which you sit at home and see in tv my own speech how it can be better than this so the student replies in my house in my tv i can change my channel here i don't have this opportunity also so i don't want this to be happen to here i'm sure that in future days to come we all can meet once again and have a dialogue with each other so i once again thank the management and the staff of this institution all the well wishers who have joined here and all the students who have gathered here so as a member of our karnataka government our office door is open to you all whatever service is needed from our department and our government we are in the first step to serve you help you all out so that you can run the society so taking all the blessings of seniors and juniors of institution thank you thank you one and all thank you sir for your wonderful speech as you said sir we all stood in hope that our brindavan group of institution will flourish for lifelong a beautiful place to pursue our education now i would like to call upon i request all the students to kindly be seated your kind attention is required i would now like to call upon dr k k sitama registrar bangalore university to address the occasion honorable minister for health and family welfare shri ut abdul kader chairman of brindavan group of institutions dr m a a sabha parents members of the faculty invitees guests and my dear outgoing students this institution started about 20 years ago in a small way has grown by leaps and bounds and all credit goes to dr sabha he needs a thunderous applause on this occasion graduation marks the end of one stage and is the beginning of another and the graduates of this year have my very best wishes for a useful and successful future there is a public opinion that those who pass out of this institution is not only intellectually competent but also technically qualified to face any challenge before them students once you pass out of this noble institution you should not forget to turn back to the portals of your noble institution and say we have lived here we have had our education we have lived here enlarged our lives and character and you should remember that you all are entering life at a very critical juncture in the history of our country a pupil obtains the quarter of his learning from his teacher another quarter from his own intelligence the third quarter in being with his fellow students and the last quarter in the course of his life lord buddha had said a teacher ought to consider a student as a son and the son that is the student ought to consider 
the teacher as his father, both attracted by mutual reference, would lead a high phase both in doctrine and discipline. It is not enough if the teachers, I should say a good student is not the one who has studied well, but one who is being taught well, just as Lord Krishna was to Arjuna. It is therefore essential that our teachers should be not only of scholarship, but also of sympathy towards their students. Markets and globalization, which are transforming the world of higher education, are changing the content of higher education and exercising an influence on the nature of institutions that impart higher education. Parents and students today display a strong revealed preference to demand higher education that makes young people employable. The popularity and availability of the courses are thus being shaped by the markets. The world of prof professional education, such as engineering, medicine, management, and law, is also being influenced by markets and globalization, and they are expected to work with a global vision, global commitment, global competence, and caliber. If there is one sector which is at the cusp of massive growth, it is the education sector. The growth rate of this sector is projected at 12.8%, much higher than the gross domestic product of this country. And today, we have 634 universities, 33,023 colleges, half a million teachers, and 12 million students. The Indian higher education has moved from an allied system of higher education to a mass system. Though our gross enrollment ratio is 18.8%, which is below the world average of 29%, the women's enrollment ratio has gone up to 15.6% and the men's education has gone up to 22.6%. Human resources constitute the ultimate basis for the wealth of nations. Capital and natural resource are considered as passive agents of production while human beings are the active agents of production who exploit natural resources, accumulate capital, and carry forward social, economic, and political organization. And the mechanism to build a, a skillful and a knowledgeable society is through education. The World Bank had organized a forum called Voices of the Poor, which got feedback from 60,000 people in 60 countries, which concluded that people wanted access to knowledge and opportunities instead of charity to fight poverty. And knowledge is not a scarce resource, it is infinitely expansible and proliferates with its use. Information is power, the less informed are we, the more powerless we become. Learning is an exploration. Students come to learn new ideas and new things from the teachers. The grasping powers of the students, it varies from batch to batch, from year to year. Even though the same teacher is teaching the same su subject. In this context, I am reminded of a conversation between a teacher and a student. During the lunch break, a student puts a question to his teacher thus, Sir, the new branch of mathematics which you have introduced to us is somewhat difficult, sir. Then the teacher says, it will be all right after some time. That means, sir, it will be easy after some time. Then the teacher says, no, my dear boy, all that I meant was you will get used to the difficulty. To be a good teacher, one has to be something of an actor willing to assume the role of a friend, philosopher, and guide. The effect of such a picturesque role is to create an oasis of freedom and foresight, kindness and knowledge, clarification and comfort that would blend the modern and the new ideas with the traditional system of education. It is said 
The destiny of this great nation is shaped in our classrooms. Mrs. Indira Gandhi always used to say the destiny of this great nation is shaped in our classrooms. It is the level of education that determines the level of prosperity, well-being and security of its people. Educational institutions are the sanctuaries of intellectual life of a country. They stand for humanism, they stand for tolerance, they stand for peace and finally for the search of truth. It is only the educated and the well-being who can make any nation militarily strong, economically sound, politically astute, socially and culturally advanced, above all, spiritually affluent. When great dangerous tremors are making their way into the subsoil of the national life, it is only our character, dedication and discipline which can ensure the survival of freedom. Lord Buddha had always told us, look not to others for refuge besides in yourselves. Swami Vivekananda, who had great confidence in the youth of this country, had said, have great confidence in yourselves. You are the maker of your own future. You are the maker of your own destiny. And all the strength and the succor you need is within yourselves and thus have a great future. Swami Vivekananda also wanted all of us to have iron wills which do not know how to quake. For having come into this world, leave some mark behind. Otherwise, where is the difference between you, the stones, the rocks, the buildings? They also come into existence, decay and die. Swamiji said, strength is life and weakness is death. India is the largest country in the subcontinent, which is also a great cause of concern. India's or South Asia has emerged as the most malnourished, the least gender sensitive, the most poorest continent in the world. 42% of the Indian women and children in India are malnourished. About 200 people, the maternal mortality rate in this country is 200 per every 1 lakh live births. Infant mortality for 1,000 is around 50. 37% of all Indian school children drop out before they reach standard 5. When such is the case, you all are the most fortunate ones to have come for higher education and help build Human capital. What is human capital? Human capital is a useful and a relevant knowledge built up in the process of education and training. What knowledge has been imparted to you in this noble institution should enable you to fight against the social, economic and political evils of this country. What are the social evils? Rape, gang rape, female feticide, domestic violence, harassment at workplace, women trafficking. Fight against all this. Fight against the economic evils. What are the economic evils? Price rise, unemployment, illiteracy, black marketing, hoarding. Fight against all this. Fight against the political corruption in the country and take part in the political process of the country with little bit of training. Students, today jobs with fat salaries, in, fat salaries in information technology, IT, BT and banking sector is weaning away the most intelligent students. You, the knowledgeable students, somehow regulate this trend so that the clear stream of reason, does knowledge, does not get bogged down to serve a few mundane needs. You are expected to follow everything which is noble, honorable, pure, and worthy of praise. Today, you have the freedom to shape your future with knowledge, with vision, and courage. Education is not for money alone. Human values are important. Money does not pay, nor fame. Fame does not pay, nor learning. It is the love that pays. It is the character that cleaves its way through the adamantine walls of difficulties. 
poverty, illiteracy, and unemployment are the worst sins of this country. And Swami Vivekananda said, as long as India reels under these three, I hold every one of you responsible because you are being educated at the cost of the poor people and finally do nothing for them. You do fi finally do nothing for the poor people. So feel for the poor. Feel for the poor, the ignorant. Feel for the poor, the ignorant, the downtrodden, the deprived. Work for them till your heart stops and the brain reels. Today, students from the marginalized sectors tend to concentrate only in easy disciplines. We should persuade them to take up more progressive and hard disciplines so that social equity in higher education gains utmost importance. By 2020, it is said, we will have about 116 million people in the workforce. There will be severe socio-economic problems if these youngsters are not provided with jobs. So we need to strengthen the higher education in this country to provide employment to these youngsters in a productive way. In order to brace the challenges of globalization, we need to brace ourselves with, by channelizing teaching, research, and extension activities with a high quality leadership and requisite governance structure. Today, the most exploited sections of the society are the women, the children, the marginalized, and the poor people. Their liberation is our immediate task. We have been living in centuries of atrocities, of exploitations, of wars, of diseases, and death. Our challenge for the future is to rebuild and reconstruct a world of our dreams. This does not mean that we have to build a utopia or heaven. All of us want to live, live a joyful life on this good earth. So let us put our heart, our soul, our imagination, our creativity and make this world worthy of living. And finally, I should say, if women speak in one voice, it will be a great voice. If women are educated, angels will be found everywhere. Thank you very much. I thank the organizers of this program for having given me this unique opportunity of being with you this evening. I wish you all well. Thank you.